Welcome to the Daily News Channel. Please subscribe and like. The conflict between Iran and Israel is heating up like never before, with both sides throwing threats and launching aerial attacks. As things escalate, both countries are beefing up their air defenses with some of the most advanced systems out there, raising questions about what these systems are capable of and what the showdown might look like. Iran recently stepped up its game with the Russian-made S-400 defense system, one of the world's top-notch air defense systems. It's got advanced tech that can handle all kinds of airborne threats. This thing can spot targets from 600 kilometers away and hit 80 of them at the same time with missiles moving at a speed of up to Mach 12. That means it's ready to take on ballistic missiles and hypersonic threats. On top of that, Iran's got the Murmansk BN, a high-tech electronic warfare system that messes with communications over a range of 5,000 kilometers, throwing a wrench into the enemy's command and control. They're also rocking the homegrown Bavar 373, which is kind of like the Russian S-300. The system can cover a full 360 degrees and track slow-moving small targets from way off. On the flip side, Israel's relying heavily on the American-made THAAD system, which has some serious long-range missile interception abilities. With a range of 200 kilometers and the capability to handle ballistic missiles at altitudes of up to 150 kilometers, it's a solid line of defense. Israel's main player in the game, though, is the Iron Dome, which is their go-to for handling short-range rockets and drones. The Iron Dome can detect threats from 70 to 100 kilometers away, but it's not really set up to deal with long-range targets or fighter jets. Looking at the defense systems, Iran seems to have the upper hand when it comes to coverage and missile speed, while Israel's edge lies in electronic warfare and intercepting ballistic and hypersonic missiles. Israel's more comprehensive air coverage could give it an advantage in protecting its skies compared to Iran's partial coverage. The big question is, how far will this military standoff go? And do you think Israel's really going to go all in and hit Iranian military and nuclear sites? There's a lot of speculation about where things might go from here. With both sides ramping up their defenses and bringing in some heavy-duty military tech, it's clear neither Iran nor Israel is backing down anytime soon. The risk of escalation is real, and the stakes are sky-high with both countries having powerful allies in their corner. If things keep heating up, we could be looking at a conflict that could pull in other regional and global powers, making this way more than just a two-way fight. Potential Scenarios and What Could Come Next One scenario that's getting a lot of attention is whether Israel might decide to go after Iran's key military and nuclear sites. Israel's shown in the past that it's willing to take action to stop what it sees as existential threats. With the new defense systems in play, Iran's got some stronger cards to play but it's also got to be cautious not to cross any red lines that could lead to a bigger conflict. Then there's the question of cyber warfare. Both countries have invested heavily in cyber capabilities, and experts are saying that future attacks might not just be in the air or on the ground, but could also be targeting each other's infrastructure and critical systems. We've already seen hints of this in the past with cyber attacks on nuclear facilities and other sensitive sites. While both sides are preparing for the worst, media outlets are playing a huge role in shaping public opinion and rallying support. Israel and Iran have both been using state media to push their narratives, each painting the other as the aggressor. Social media too is buzzing with debates, rumors and conflicting reports about what's really going down. And that's where we come in, keeping an eye on how this all unfolds and giving you the latest updates without all the noise and hype. The situation's got so many moving parts and it's important to stay informed and be aware of the bigger picture. But now it's over to you, how do you see this playing out? Could this be the tipping point in the region? Or is there still a chance to dial things back before it's too late? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Stay tuned! This standoff isn't just about military power, it's also about politics, regional influence, and a long history of tension. For Israel, the focus is on stopping Iran's nuclear ambitions and neutralizing what it sees as direct threats. Iran, on the other hand, views its defense buildup as essential to counter what it perceives as encroachment on its sovereignty and security interests. In the wider Middle East, this ongoing friction affects not just these two nations, but neighboring countries and global powers with interests in the region. It raises concerns about stability in the Gulf, 
impacts oil prices, and influences diplomatic relations in ways that could have ripple effects across the globe. Both Russia and the U.S. are keeping close tabs on the situation, given their respective stakes in the region, and while Israel gets support from the U.S., Iran maintains strong ties with Russia, which recently supplied it with the S-400 defense system, marking a significant shift in the regional power dynamics. What about diplomatic efforts? Amid the rising tensions, there's a constant undercurrent of diplomatic maneuvering. Efforts to bring both sides to the negotiation table continue, but with trust levels at an all-time low, it's hard to tell if diplomatic channels will be enough to de-escalate the situation. Various countries and international organizations are trying to mediate, but with hardliners on both sides pushing for a stronger stance, finding common ground seems like a long shot. In the meantime, both Iran and Israel are doubling down on their defensive and offensive strategies, keeping their eyes on each other's moves. And with all the new tech in play, from advanced air defenses to cyber capabilities, the stakes are higher than ever. So, what's next? As tensions continue to build, the world is watching closely. Analysts are speculating about potential next moves, and regional powers are quietly preparing for the possibility of a wider conflict. If things keep escalating, we could see more strategic airstrikes, cyber attacks, and even direct confrontations in contested territories. The big question is whether cooler heads will prevail, or if this will spiral into a full-blown war. That said, stay locked in for updates as this story unfolds. We'll keep breaking down the complex dynamics and keep you in the loop on everything from military developments to diplomatic efforts. It's a tense situation with no clear end in sight, and only time will tell how it all plays out. Let us know your thoughts. Do you think there's a chance for diplomacy, or are we heading towards a full-scale conflict? And if you want to stay ahead of the news, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Stay tuned and stay informed. The Impact on Everyday Life and Regional Dynamics While military strategies and diplomatic moves dominate the headlines, it's crucial to recognize the human side of the story. If this conflict escalates, it could have serious consequences for the everyday lives of people in the region. Civilian populations on both sides, already accustomed to years of tension, are bracing for the potential fallout. The threat of missile attacks and the psychological strain of an uncertain future weigh heavily on communities in Israel and Iran. Beyond the immediate combat zones, neighboring countries in the Middle East are feeling the pressure too. Nations like Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq could find themselves caught in the crossfire or face waves of instability if the conflict widens. Even Gulf states, with their strategic interests and alliances, might be drawn into the political and military fray, either directly or indirectly. This standoff isn't happening in a vacuum and regional leaders are carefully calculating their responses. Economic repercussions and global markets. It's not just about the battlefield. Economic implications are also on everyone's mind. A major conflict between these two countries could send shockwaves through global markets, especially in the energy sector. With Iran being a key player in oil exports, any disruption could lead to fluctuations in oil prices impacting economies far beyond the Middle East. Israel, too, plays a significant role in tech and trade in the region, and instability could create ripple effects that touch businesses and consumers around the world. Investors and businesses are already starting to pay closer attention to developments, as uncertainty looms over future trade routes, energy supplies, and geopolitical stability. International powers with vested interests are likely to react swiftly to any developments, knowing full well how a military conflict could shake the global economy. The Role of Technology in Modern Warfare In this high-stakes standoff, technology is playing a more crucial role than ever. Advanced air defense systems, precision-guided missiles, and electronic warfare capabilities are changing the way conflicts unfold. What used to be traditional battles now involves highly sophisticated strategies where both sides are trying to outmaneuver each other with cutting-edge tech. Cyber warfare is also a key element to watch. Both Iran and Israel have significant cyber capabilities and experts believe that any major conflict would likely include cyber attacks aimed at crippling critical infrastructure like power grids, communication networks, and financial systems. Such moves could have devastating effects, not just on the countries directly involved, but also on their allies and economic partners. 
Final thoughts. What lies ahead? At this point, it's tough to predict exactly what's going to happen next. Both Iran and Israel are digging in, preparing for potential confrontations, and building up their defenses. While there's still a glimmer of hope that diplomatic efforts could pull things back from the brink, the reality on the ground suggests otherwise. It's a delicate balance and with so much military firepower at play, one wrong move could set off a chain reaction. As things continue to unfold, staying informed is key. The situation is complex, with layers of historical tension, military strategy, and political maneuvering. Whether you're following for the latest updates or trying to understand the deeper dynamics, it's essential to keep a close watch on the developments and the broader implications. So what's your take on all this? Do you think there's a way out through diplomacy? Or are we looking at a new chapter of conflict in the region? Hit us up in the comments with your thoughts and as always like subscribe and stay tuned for more deep dives and analysis on the unfolding events. The Ripple Effect how this could impact global alliances. As tensions continue to simmer between Iran and Israel, the rest of the world is not sitting idle. Global powers like the United States, Russia and the European Union have vested interests in the region and are closely monitoring the developments. The alliances that each country maintains could play a critical role in shaping the course of events. For instance, the United States has long been a staunch ally of Israel, providing not only diplomatic support, but also advanced defense systems like THAAD and the Iron Dome. Any escalation in the region would likely draw a strong response from Washington, which could range from increased military aid to active involvement in the conflict if things spiral out of control. On the flip side, Iran has its own set of allies and partnerships, particularly with Russia and various non-state actors in the region. Russia's provision of the S-400 air defense system to Iran is a clear sign of its commitment to supporting Tehran's defensive capabilities. This development not only enhances Iran's military posture, but also signals a broader strategic alignment between the two countries, which could complicate any efforts by Israel and its allies to contain Iran's influence. The Media War Information as a Battlefield Beyond military might, the information battlefield is just as crucial. Both Iran and Israel are leveraging their state-controlled media to shape narratives, rally domestic support, and build international sympathy. Iran is emphasizing its defensive posture and portraying Israel as an aggressor, while Israel is focusing on the existential threat posed by Iran's nuclear ambitions. Meanwhile, social media platforms are buzzing with conflicting reports, propaganda, and fake news, making it challenging for observers to discern what's really going on. This information overload is part of a broader strategy by both sides to sway public opinion and maintain control over the narrative. For individuals trying to follow the conflict, it's vital to stay cautious about unverified claims and to rely on credible sources for updates. The media landscape is often as unpredictable as the military one, with both sides working to win the hearts and minds of not just their own populations but also the global audience. Humanitarian Concerns and the Cost of War Amid all the political and military maneuvering, one aspect that often gets overlooked is the humanitarian cost of escalating tensions. If this standoff were to turn into a full-scale conflict, the civilian populations on both sides would be the ones to suffer the most. The threat of airstrikes, missile attacks, and cyber sabotage looms large over cities and towns, creating an atmosphere of fear and uncertainty. International organizations and humanitarian agencies are raising alarms about the potential impact on civilians, especially given the densely populated areas in both Israel and Iran. Displacement, shortages of essential supplies and disruptions to critical infrastructure like hospitals and power grids could create a humanitarian crisis on a massive scale. Moving forward, a need for vigilance and preparedness. While the situation remains tense, the hope for de-escalation and diplomacy isn't entirely lost. History has shown that even the most heated conflicts can eventually find a resolution, but that requires leadership, flexibility, and the willingness to compromise. For now, it's essential to remain vigilant and prepared, whether it's by staying updated with accurate information, understanding the historical context, or recognizing the broader geopolitical implications the key is to approach the situation with a clear mind and a cautious outlook. And as always, we're here to keep you informed every step of the way. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an update. 
Thanks for staying with us and we'll catch you in the next deep dive. Stay safe, stay informed. Looking to the future. What does this mean for regional stability? The ongoing tensions between Iran and Israel aren't just another chapter in their long-standing rivalry. They could reshape the entire Middle East. Analysts are closely watching how other countries in the region are responding, as any major escalation could tip the delicate balance of power. Nations like Saudi Arabia and the UAE, which have their own stakes in regional stability and security, are navigating a tightrope between supporting their allies and preventing further destabilization. Countries like Turkey, with its own ambitions and strategic interests, could also play a pivotal role in either mediating or influencing the direction of the conflict. With shifting alliances and new geopolitical alignments, the future of the region remains highly uncertain. The Diplomatic Front Possibilities for De-Escalation Despite the heavy military posturing, there's still a window for diplomatic interventions. Historically, back-channel negotiations and international pressure have often played key roles in de-escalating such tensions. The question now is whether any third-party countries or organizations like the United Nations or European Union can step into broker talks and convince both sides to pull back from the brink. The potential for diplomatic breakthroughs, however, remains clouded by mutual distrust and competing interests. But with the stakes this high, diplomatic channels can't be entirely ruled out, and there could be opportunities for confidence-building measures or even temporary truces to pave the way for negotiations. The role of international powers, a potential game-changer. The actions of international powers will be crucial in shaping the outcome of this standoff. The United States, Russia, and even China have vested interests in maintaining stability in the Middle East due to energy markets, arms trade, and political alliances. How these powers choose to engage, or not engage, could significantly impact the unfolding events. The U.S. has already been vocal in its support for Israel, while Russia's provision of advanced defense systems to Iran signals its intentions to maintain a strong influence in the region. Meanwhile, China's strategic interests, particularly in securing energy supplies and establishing trade networks, mean it's also keeping a close watch. The potential for these international powers to act as mediators or exacerbate tensions adds yet another layer of complexity to the situation. Conclusion A Tense Waiting Game As Iran and Israel continue their military and diplomatic maneuvers, the world watches with bated breath. This standoff is about more than just two nations. It's about the future of the region and its impact on global geopolitics. The outcome could redefine alliances, reshape regional security strategies, and have lasting implications for global trade and diplomacy. For now, both sides remain on high alert, with each passing day bringing new developments, statements, and strategic moves. In the midst of all this uncertainty, the best course of action is to stay informed and aware of the broader picture, and that's where we come in. Keep following our updates as we continue to cover this evolving story. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Where do you think this conflict is heading? Is there still room for peace? Or are we on the edge of something much bigger? As always, like and subscribe to stay in the loop and thanks for sticking with us through this in-depth analysis. Stay tuned and stay informed. As the situation continues to evolve, there are a few key areas to keep an eye on that could indicate whether tensions will escalate or cool down. 1. Military movements and new deployments. Both Iran and Israel are known for keeping their cards close to the chest, but any unusual military activity or repositioning of forces could be a strong signal of where things are heading. Whether it's the movement of air defense systems, a spike in aerial reconnaissance or the deployment of additional forces, military changes will be critical clues. Two diplomatic statements and unofficial talks. While both nations often use public statements to flex their political muscles, it's the unofficial talks that could offer hints of de-escalation efforts. Reports of back-channel negotiations or international mediation attempts would be a sign that cooler heads might be trying to steer things away from conflict. 3. Cyber attacks and retaliation. If tensions spill over into the digital realm, cyber attacks could become a more frequent weapon of choice. Watch for reports of disruptions to critical infrastructure, financial systems, or communications networks, as these could be both an escalation tactic and a means of testing each other's vulnerabilities. 4. International Reactions and Sanctions 
any moves by global powers like the US, Russia, China, or the European Union, whether they're sanctions, arms deals, or calls for peace talks, will play a big role in shaping the course of this conflict. How these nations choose to react to ongoing developments could push either side toward escalation or offer a path to negotiation.